Have you ever pondered over what are the things you should never do for a woman? Let's delve into it. Now, relationships are a complex dance. They are a beautiful exchange of love, respect, sacrifice and compromise. However, it's essential to understand the dynamics of these relationships, especially from a Stoic perspective. Stoicism, an ancient Greek philosophy, offers us some timeless wisdom. It encourages us to focus on what we can control and let go of what we can't. It teaches us to maintain our tranquility and not let external circumstances disturb our inner peace. Now, this video isn't about advocating for selfishness or discouraging acts of chivalry, far from it. It's about understanding the value of self-respect and maintaining personal boundaries. The intent is not to sow seeds of discord, but rather to foster a sense of balance and mutual respect in relationships. It's about ensuring that, in our quest to keep our partners happy, we don't lose sight of our own happiness. It's about understanding that, while it's okay to make compromises, there are certain lines that we should never cross. In the forthcoming sections, we will explore the things you should never do for a woman, not because you don't love her or care for her, but because by doing so, you might compromise your own identity, dignity, dreams, relationships, and freedom. And remember, a strong relationship is built on mutual respect, understanding, and love, not on one-sided sacrifices. So, why is this important? Because at the end of the day, a relationship is a partnership, a union of two individuals who are equal in every sense. It's about building each other up, not tearing each other down. It's about complementing each other, not completing each other. So brace yourself as we unravel these points one by one. First and foremost, never lose your identity. This is the cornerstone of any relationship, the bedrock upon which all else is built. Your identity, your individuality, that unique blend of experiences, beliefs and values that make you who you are is your greatest asset. To surrender it, to allow it to be overshadowed or eclipsed by another, is to lose the essence of what makes you, well, you. Now, let's delve into the heart of Stoic philosophy. Stoicism, a school of thought that has stood the test of time, advocates for the cultivation of self-awareness and personal growth. It teaches us to understand ourselves, our motivations, our passions and our fears, to be introspective and to strive for self-improvement. In the context of a relationship, this means maintaining your individuality, holding on to your identity and continuously striving to be the best version of yourself. A relationship is a partnership, a union of two individuals who choose to navigate the winding path of life side by side. It's a beautiful journey, fraught with challenges and brimming with rewards, but it's important to remember that a relationship is a complement to your life, not a substitute for it. It should enrich your existence, not define it. You see, when you lose your identity in a relationship, you risk becoming a mere reflection of your partner. You start to mirror their beliefs, their interests, their passions, sacrificing your own in the process. This is not healthy or sustainable, it breeds resentment and dissatisfaction, a feeling of being lost, adrift in a sea of someone else's desires and expectations. On the other hand, maintaining your identity allows you to bring your unique perspective, your distinct flavor to the relationship. It adds depth, diversity and richness, making the partnership more fulfilling and rewarding for both parties involved. It fosters mutual respect and admiration a deep appreciation for the individuality that each brings to the table. Moreover, clinging to your identity allows you to continue growing as a person. It encourages personal development, the pursuit of your dreams and passions, the exploration of new interests and experiences. It keeps the spark of curiosity and the thirst for knowledge alive, contributing to a more meaningful and contented existence. Stoicism teaches us to be true to ourselves, to recognize and honor our individuality. It encourages us to be self-aware, to understand our strengths and weaknesses, our desires and fears. It advocates for personal growth, for the continuous striving to be better, to learn more, to experience more. In a relationship, this translates into a strong, confident individual who contributes to the partnership while also maintaining their unique identity. In conclusion, never lose sight of who you are. Your identity, your individuality is your greatest asset. Cherish it, nurture it, let it shine. 
A relationship should enhance your life, not overshadow it. It should be a source of joy, a catalyst for growth, a journey of mutual respect and admiration. Remember, a relationship should enhance your life, not overshadow it. Secondly, never compromise your dreams. This statement, my friends, rings with a truth that is often overlooked. Dreams, aspirations, personal goals, these are the cornerstones of our individual existence. They are the lifeblood of our soul, the driving force behind our actions, and the anchors that ground us amidst the stormy seas of life's uncertainty. In the realm of Stoicism, the value of personal dreams cannot be overstated. Stoicism, a philosophy of personal ethics, encourages us to focus on what we can control and to accept what we cannot. Our dreams, our aspirations, are squarely within the realm of what we can control. They are the product of our own minds, our own hearts, and so they are ours to shape, to nurture and to pursue. Stoicism teaches us that it is not the external circumstances that define us, but our internal responses to these circumstances. In this light, our dreams become even more crucial. They serve as our personal compass guiding us through the labyrinth of life's challenges. They provide us with a sense of direction, a sense of purpose, and a sense of self. But what does it mean to compromise your dreams? Is it not sometimes necessary to adjust our dreams to the reality of our situations? To this, Stoicism offers a nuanced response. Yes, it acknowledges we must sometimes make adjustments. Life is a complex tapestry of events, and not all threads will weave in the direction we desire. However, Stoicism advises us to differentiate between adjusting our dreams and compromising them. Adjusting our dreams means altering the path to their achievement, not the dreams themselves. It means finding new ways to navigate around the obstacles that life places in our way. Compromising our dreams, on the other hand, means allowing these obstacles to alter the dreams themselves. It means letting our circumstances dictate our aspirations rather than allowing our aspirations to dictate our response to our circumstances. Stoicism encourages us to hold steadfast to our dreams, to nurture them, to protect them, to pursue them with a resilient determination that is not swayed by the external chaos of life. It reminds us that our dreams are more than mere fantasies. They are reflections of our innermost self, projections of our deepest desires and manifestations of our personal potential. They are, in essence, our most authentic self. So, never compromise your dreams. Don't let the winds of external circumstances blow you off your chosen path. Rather, adjust your sails, navigate the storm and stay true to your course. Let your dreams be your guiding star, leading you towards a destiny of your own making. Remember, Stoicism is not about suppressing emotions or desires. It is about understanding them, controlling them, and directing them towards the pursuit of our personal goals. It is about maintaining an unwavering focus on what truly matters in life, and what truly matters, my friends, are our dreams. Your dreams are your compass, guiding you towards your true self. Thirdly, never disrespect yourself. Now let's delve into the significance of self-respect and dignity. In the grand theatre of life, we sometimes forget our worth while playing various roles. We get so engrossed in pleasing others that we often disregard our own self-esteem. It's like offering a royal feast to others while starving ourselves. This, dear listeners, is an injustice that we commit against ourselves. Self-respect is the cornerstone of our existence. It is the foundation upon which our identity is built. It's not just about feeling good about oneself, it's about acknowledging our worth and standing up for it. It's about setting boundaries and not letting anyone cross them. It's about not settling for less than what we deserve. It's about not letting anyone belittle us, not even ourselves. Now, Stoicism, a philosophy that has stood the test of time, teaches us the importance of self-respect. It tells us that self-respect is not a luxury, but a necessity. It's not something that can be compromised or negotiated. It's a virtue that we should uphold no matter what. The Stoics believed that we should respect ourselves because we are part of the universe, a universe that is rational and orderly. And as parts of this universe, we are rational beings too. We are capable of reason, of making choices, of living virtuous lives. 
Therefore, to disrespect ourselves is to disrespect the universe, to disrespect the rationality that we are a part of. Stoicism also teaches us that our worth is not defined by external factors, by what others think of us, by our possessions or by our social status. Our worth is inherent, it's within us. It's determined by our virtues, by our character, by our actions. Therefore, we should respect ourselves, not for what we have, but for who we are. When we respect ourselves, we set a standard, a standard for how we should be treated. We show the world that we value ourselves, that we won't tolerate being treated with disrespect. And when we stand up for ourselves, when we demand respect, the world listens. It might not happen immediately, it might not happen easily, but eventually the world will follow suit. So remember, disrespecting yourself is like throwing away a priceless gem, a gem that is unique, that is irreplaceable, that is you. So hold on to this gem, cherish it, respect it. Because you, yes you, are worthy of respect. To conclude, self-respect is not just about respecting ourselves, it's about respecting our place in the universe, our rationality, our virtues. It's about setting a standard for how we should be treated. It's about standing up for ourselves, about demanding respect. It's about not settling for less, about not letting anyone belittle us. It's about cherishing the priceless gem that we are. Respect yourself and the world will follow suit. Fourthly, never neglect your friends and family. In the pursuit of romantic love and companionship, it's easy to forget the importance of the relationships that have been with us along the journey, even before we met our significant others. These are the bonds we share with our friends and family. Ties that form an intricate web of support, love and shared experiences. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy that has stood the test of time, holds a great deal of wisdom in this respect. It teaches us to value the social relationships and community we are part of, understanding that they are integral to our well-being and personal growth. When we think of Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, we often remember his words, we were born for cooperation, like feet, like hands, like eyelids, like the rows of upper and lower teeth. Just as these body parts work in harmony to support our physical being, our social relationships act in unison to support our emotional and mental well-being, Neglecting our friends and family in the pursuit of a romantic relationship can lead to isolation and a loss of perspective. Our loved ones, the ones who've seen us at our best and our worst, provide a mirror to ourselves, reflecting our strengths and weaknesses, our growth and our potential. They remind us of who we are, grounding us in our identity and providing a sense of continuity and belonging. Consider the analogy of a tree. A tree stands tall and sturdy, not just because of its strong trunk, but also due to its extensive root system, which provides nourishment, stability and support. Our friends and family are like those roots, and neglecting them is akin to cutting off our source of sustenance. Moreover, it's important to remember that love isn't a finite resource. The love we give to our significant other doesn't diminish the love we have for our friends and family. In fact, the capacity for love, understanding and compassion can grow with practice, making us better partners, friends and family members. Stoicism teaches us to appreciate the present moment and the people in it. It encourages us to nurture our relationships and invest time and energy in maintaining them. This isn't always easy, especially when we're in the throes of a new romance, but it's crucial for our long-term happiness and well-being. In conclusion, while it's perfectly natural and healthy to invest in a romantic relationship, it's equally important to maintain the relationships we have with our friends and family. They ground us, support us, and provide a sense of continuity and community. They remind us of our roots, our values, and our identity. Your loved ones are your anchor, providing stability amidst life's storms. Lastly, never give up your freedom. In our journey through life, we often come across crossroads where we are asked to make choices. These choices, while they may seem insignificant at the moment, can have profound effects on our lives. One such choice is the decision to give up our freedom. Freedom is not just about the ability to do what you want when you want. It's about being able to think for yourself, to make your own decisions and to live your life on your terms. It's about the autonomy to choose your path, the liberty to express your thoughts and the right to pursue your dreams. Now you might ask, 
What does Stoicism have to do with freedom? Stoicism, an ancient philosophy that has stood the test of time, places a great emphasis on personal freedom and autonomy. It teaches us that we are the masters of our own minds and that we should never let anyone or anything control our thoughts or actions. Stoic philosophers, from Seneca to Marcus Aurelius, believed in the power of the individual. They believed that each of us has the ability to shape our own destiny and that we should never let anyone take that power away from us. They taught us that our freedom is not something that can be given or taken away by others, but something that we have to fight for and protect with all our might. So how do you maintain your freedom in a relationship? Firstly, never let someone else dictate your thoughts or actions. You are your own person with your own thoughts, feelings and experiences. Don't let anyone else tell you how to think or feel. Secondly, maintain your individuality. Just because you're in a relationship, it doesn't mean you have to give up your hobbies, interests or passions. Finally, never let anyone control your life. You are the master of your own destiny and you should never let anyone else take the reins. Remember, freedom is not just about being able to do what you want. It's about being able to live your life on your terms without any external influences or pressures. It's about the ability to make your own decisions, to follow your own path, and to be the person you want to be. Freedom is not just a right. It's a responsibility towards oneself. It's about taking control of your life and making sure that you're living it in a way that aligns with your values, beliefs and dreams. It's about standing up for what you believe in and not letting anyone else dictate your life. So, never give up your freedom. Never let anyone else control your thoughts, actions or life. Stand up for what you believe in and live your life on your terms. Remember, you are the master of your own destiny and no one else has the right to take that away from you. Freedom is not just a right, it's a responsibility towards oneself. To sum it all up, we've journeyed through a myriad of critical aspects that should be maintained in a relationship. It's vital to remember that in the pursuit of love, you should never lose sight of who you are. The tapestry of your identity, woven with experiences, values and quirks, should never be unpicked or altered for anyone else. We also touched on the importance of never compromising your dreams. Your aspirations, ambitions and goals are your guiding stars. They define your direction and purpose in life. To compromise them for someone else is to veer off your life's course. This doesn't mean you cannot change your dreams or adapt them, but it should be a choice born from your own will, not imposed by an external force. We delved into the essence of self-respect and how crucial it is to never disrespect yourself. Love should never be a reason to belittle or devalue you are worthy of respect, and the first person to offer it should always be you. We also highlighted the importance of never neglecting your friends and family. They are the pillars that offer support and comfort, and their significance should never be underrated. Love might be a beautiful journey, but it's a journey you should not walk alone. Lastly, we discussed the importance of never giving up your freedom. Freedom is not just about the ability to do what you want when you want. It's also about the freedom to be yourself, to express your thoughts and emotions, to make choices, and to live your life on your own terms. Remember, being stoic doesn't mean being unfeeling. It's about being true to oneself while respecting others. The stoic approach to relationships is about balance, about maintaining your integrity and identity while being considerate and respectful to your partner. So stay true, stay stoic. Now, if you found this content helpful and enlightening, you can support us by liking this video, leaving a comment on your thoughts and sharing it with those who might benefit from it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content like this. Your support means a lot and helps us keep coming up with more content to help you on your journey.